Well, uh, good morning everyone. Um, welcome here to the MCG today for a very special moment in the club's history. Um, today what we'll be doing, formality is here and we'll get a few guest speakers up um, and then we'll head over to the Sports Museum. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Aaron Davey. I did play here once upon a time, uh, a few years ago, but uh, I was delighted to be asked to come up here today uh, for a very special day, like I said, in the club's history. Before we do get on to any professional formalities, uh, I'd love to invite this beautiful lady up, Annie Joy Wandon, our Wurundjeri elder, to do a deliver. Welcome to country. Making me nervous now. <laughs> oh, thanks very much, Aaron. How great it is to be able to stand next to one of the greatest players who have played, I think, 175 and kicked 174 goals or something. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I've watched this young fella grow up, so I'm really, really happy. We're both happy to catch up with one another, uh, one another after all this time. Um, can I just say that again, what a moment to be here and again on the G and as it is always, I'd like to pay my respects to all ancestors, elders and communities across this great nation and our neighbouring islands. And uh, particular, want to mention um, our beautiful artist, young Kaya Ward-Nicholson, who's doing such a fabulous job and uh, can't wait to see the wonderful design that you have drawn. Um, could I also acknowledge our players? And oh, Stephen's here as well, hey. <laughs> um, Aaron, and of course, oh yeah, we've got Davies here. I'm a bit overwhelmed myself now. But um, isn't it great though to see that, you know, we're approaching the Sir Douglas Nichols round and we're back here um, live, which is something that we'll all celebrate and be able to be happy uh, again. It's one of those times, I think, in life where we wonder where the time goes. And I just have to say that, um, you know, like Aaron said uh, just a while ago, and it just feels like yesterday that I watched him play so many times. But today it's our new book fellas, and of course, Stephen being one of ours, and Kasai are also still playing with um, Melbourne. You know, and there's been Nev Jeter. I don't know really what's happening with him, but I hope we uh, do see him back on the ground. But I also wanted to mention um, Maddie Wheel and the Indigenous Project Officer, because these projects don't work unless there are great people. And again, I've watched Maddie play <laughs> for a long time, and uh, he's been an amazing support to myself in in every which way. So I want to say thank you, Matt, and thank you for what you do for our our boys and our girls, our two girls, um, which is, you know, really amazing. And you projected our culture and heritage with such great strength and pride. Could I? Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Could I also say that um, thanks to the Melbourne Football Club, um, you know, for this wonderful opportunity for us. And of course, we are, you know, the we are the traditional owners of this ground. And uh, for me, again, it's uh, many occasion that your heart goes bomb, bomb, bomb. It's a uh, you know, when you see our players out there, and again, more so in, in the Indigenous round, where the heart will just massively pulpit, palpitate, remembering the, all of our players that have played here, but of course, everyone that's participated in sport, and especially AFL, VFL, and our women now across, um, across this country. And the pride that we have, the dueling that we have in just seeing them, you know, displaying their skills and showing their, their versatility is, is so pleasing to us and I don't really think they know how much we appreciate it, but a big thank you to each and every one of them. Um, I just want to say also about the renaming brand of NAM. Uh, as I mentioned, Matt had lots of conversations and as it is always with um, our Nulu, our Aboriginal languages, then, you know, because it comes from an oral history, there can be different ways of spelling, there can be different ways of pronouncing. And I think the most important thing is that we give it a go 
because that's the only way we're going to learn. And uh, but for me, the pronunciation has always been Nam, and it's always been spelt. Pardon me, as you'll see, going around N A R R M. So I think that's a, a worthy point to make because in times like this when there's been so much call on our community um, and of late and we're making up for lost time from COVID that, uh, you know, if anything's worth doing, have a go. That's my motto anyway, to continue on. From my father, my uh, ancestors, all of those who have uh, been on this long journey way before us, and we have the greatest now legacy in the world of the oldest continuing living culture in the world. These leaves, as always, um, these are our gift to you. And it's always my pleasure to accept a leaf on your behalf. And I will share today, though, with Aaron once again, which I probably did many, many years ago. Which of course means that uh, accepting this gift means that you are welcome to everything from the tops of these amazing trees to the roots of the earth. And uh, that is why I believe our people are so grounded because of that connection to everything that exists. Our language is the Woi Wurrung. It's great to be here today to celebrate the achievements of the Melbourne Football Club, Women Jakar, Wurundjeri Balak, Yemen, Kundibik, and you are most welcome to the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri Woi Wurrung people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honey Joy. And um, I know you're probably sitting there feeling a little bit nervous, but uh, it's always uh, very intimidating with a lovely lady like yourself. And as you did mention, not only have you done amazing stuff for, for your culture and your mob, but uh, also for the greater game as well. So, and it's always been a joy. You've been one of my number one supporters. So it's really an honor. So thank you. Okay, so guys, the reason we, we gather here today is, as we all are aware, uh, it's to announce that the 2022 AFL Sir Douglas Nichols Round and AFLW Indigenous Round, the Melbourne Football Club, will take on the name Nam, as Honey Joy did mention. Today we will also unveil our 2022 Indigenous Jumpers. And this year has been designed by Wurundjeri Jaja Wurrung artist Kaya Nich Nicholson Ward who I've had the privilege to work with many, many years ago throughout the diversity programs. It's awesome to see. Um, and shortly we will be joined by her, as well as Gumbalanya and, and Larry Kia man, Stevie May, and the Vice Captain and Jack Viney. Following formalities, outside we will then relocate to the Australian Sports Museum uh, for the opening of the special exhibition which showcases Melbourne Football Club's amazing rich Indigenous heritage and the jumpers throughout the walls since 2014. I would like now to welcome uh, and introduce you all to the Melbourne Football Club CEO and Gary Pert to further on this launch and great initiative. Great, thanks Andrew, uh, Aaron and uh, thanks everyone for coming along this morning and uh, making the time. Uh, it's great to see all the staff here, media, um, representatives from the MCC, uh, because this is such a big announcement. Uh, this is such a big announcement, but I do want to say a very special welcome to our two star players in Stephen May and Jack Viney. It was only a matter of days ago they were out here on the MCG as superstar players winning again for the Melbourne Football Club, but today they're actually here as supermodels. We'll see a little bit later as the boys come out, they're wearing our new jumper, uh, a jumper that's designed, I think one of our best designed jumpers. It's the first time that our jumper is gonna be worn by the men and women's teams at the same time. And uh, so we'll get to see those jumpers in a minute. But as we know, today is all about the official announcement of the Melbourne Football Club uh, becoming the NAM Football Club. And this is a very big step for such a famous um, club uh, to be the Nam Football Club sir, during the Sir Douglas Nichols round for our men. And also our women will wear the same jumper and be the Nam Football Club during Indigenous round when that's announced by the AFL. So it's an exciting um, 
uh, announcement by the club, something that we haven't done before. This is all about creating awareness, a great creating the conversation, um, maybe even debate. I'm sure there'll be some people that love the idea of us taking NAM. And as Arnie Joy said, this is the word for the Indigenous word for Melbourne, a word that's been used for thousands of years by the Indigenous communities of this region here as well. And it's out of respect for those communities and their leaders, both, both past and present, that we'll be renaming the club. Um, as you've seen around the place, you'll see the logo. As part of the renaming, we'll be uh, changing our logo for that period of time. So during that Sir Douglas, Nicholas round, you'll see that through our social media platforms, on our websites, all our internal and external communications, you'll see us refer to ourselves as the NAM Football Club. Like I said, this is, um, reinforces not only the respect for the communities that have been here for such a long period of time, but also our connection to those players and the communities. And it goes way back to 1947, where Eddie Jackson was the first Indigenous player to play for the Melbourne Football Club. We've had 30 players since then, and Aaron and so many, we talk about only Joy Cozzi and Maisie, um, two premiership players, but so many of our superstar players um, have been Indigenous players and we love that connection. Um, and they've been a heavy, heavily part of us exploring this big step for the club to actually rename itself and rebrand itself during that um, Indigenous round. Like I said, it was a big step. It's been two years in the, uh, in the making. Matty Whelan and the rest of our um, uh, rap team that have been working on this with the Wurundjeri leaders for the last two years to make sure that we do this well, not only to get their guidance on how to do it properly, but to also get the permission from those elders. Um, uh, as we mentioned also, as part of today, we're announcing, you'll, you'll get to uh, talk to the fantastic talented artists that design and the story that sits behind the jumper. After this also, for those that have got the time, we're also going into the MCC Museum to see the previous jumpers. There's 14 jumpers, men and women's jumpers, Indigenous designs, and the stories that sit behind those jumpers that the Melbourne Football Club has worn. Um, and the display in the museum, which will be on display until the end of the season. So October, uh, we're very excited about that and we'll be certainly encouraging all Melbourne supporters um, and in fact Melbourne players and staff to have a look at that display. It, it talks about the journey of this club, not only the design of these jumpers, but the journey culturally of this club, largely since that 1947, um, all the steps that we've taken and the initiatives, and like I said, the, the rap group led by Matty Whelan and, and, and the rest of the team, we've uh, certainly done some great initiatives. So again, I would just like to officially advise you, I think most of you have got the uh, the uh, documents there in the pamphlet showing the logo, Nam Footy Club, um, throughout the Indigenous round for both our men and women and also launching the jumper. So thanks again for coming along. Now back to Aaron. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, now in the important part, uh, I would like to, to welcome up and invite uh, the mastermind behind this and, and Kaya Nickerson Ward, also as well as the two of our Premiership champion football players in Jack Viney and Steve Amada to come up and unveil the jumpers. Awesome having you guys. I've just got myself two jumpers to take back to Cairns. So. Okay, um, Kai, you've obviously, like I said, uh, for me, coming here and when, when Will's told me who, who done our design this year and I think that I remember your journey as a footy player 15 years ago and how much you've blossom, blossomed sorry, and, and moved on. I've seen in the past your work you've done at other clubs. Um, thank you for being here with us today. But uh, Just a couple of quick questions. Firstly, on the Guernsey itself, as you see, there's obviously... A lot of pretty amazing artwork. Uh, how does your design represent your culture and also your community? Well, thanks Aaron, nice to see you again. Um, thank you Annie Joy for the welcome. It's always deadly to be a part um, of your family and to have um, 
amazing elders like you in our community, it's awesome. Um, well, the design itself, um, it's a representation of Wurundjeri culture, my people, Melbourne Football Club, uh, so it's, uh, it's into, Intertwine? Is that <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, but it sounds good. Um, like, <laughs> it's uh, mixing both our culture and our um, mobile footy club together. Man, so. man. Uh, awesome. Well done. Yeah, sorry. I, I do do vet teaching, but I've nothing English. But um, again, so how did you feel? It obviously must be a really amazing feeling to be asked over the years of footy clubs, but a club like Melbourne Football Club, the oldest in the league, and... I think the first ever club to do so, um, it must have been pretty special being asked from the footy club. Yeah, I think it was, it was it's such an honour to be able to represent my people, um, especially because of the fight um, Indigenous people in the AFL have, had, had to and still have to go through. So to get representation of um, my people and to honour my ancestors, and especially here on the MCG, which was which is still a traditional uh, meeting place for uh, the Kulin Nation and a very significant place for Wurundjeri people. So. I think it's a huge honour to be able to represent my family and to hopefully inspire other young um, Indigenous artists as well. So yeah, such an honour. Uh, awesome, and I can only imagine you would have got um, the inspiration from your mum, who's also a really good uh, artist, and, and Mandy Nicholson. Um, she's obviously inspired you a lot and played a big part. Is it would have been a, a lot to do, um, I guess, the support and trying to get into something that your mum loves doing as always you want to be like your parents I can imagine she inspired you yeah yeah so mum uh mum's an artist as well she did the 2018 melbourne footy club jersey as well um so i was lucky enough to grow up watching her do her art and to be emerged in that at such a young age is a huge honor and uh through her activism her knowledge um i've become the woman i am today and i'm extremely grateful for her uh, and to hopefully uh, follow in her footsteps. Uh, awesome stuff. And one, one last question. So you've also designed a, the NAM logo behind me here. Um, what does it mean to you that the Melbourne Football Club have taken this great initiative on uh, for both our, our men and women's Indigenous rounds this year? Yeah, well, uh, I think it's amazing that the men and women are uniting um, with the NAM Football Club and the jersey as well. Um, to have so NAM here, Football here Club represented on such a mainstream uh, platform, I think it's amazing because people are gonna look and say, oh, what does that mean? And then they'll look into it, you know, and they'll be learning more about our culture uh, through the representation. So I think um, especially having a Wurundjeri artist with the Wurrung name representing Melbourne, uh, I think it's a sign of unity. And uh, for those who don't know, know Nam means scrubland. So, um, and it relates to the narrative of um, the creation of um, the, Port Phillip Bay and the Yarra River. Uh, Port Phillip Bay's name is Nam Nam, and that means much scrubland. So just a little. Info for well, you. thank you very much for that. Well, uh, thank you so much, and like I said, uh, these two models here we couldn't ask for two better looking blokes to come and present these jumpers. So, um, really do appreciate your time, and you're doing amazing stuff. And, and I can only imagine I live up in Cairns, and, and to see the growth, and I, I reckon you're going to pave a lot of pathways and your legacy uh, going forward. So, Kai, thank you very much, and, and Vines and Stevie, thank you as well. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that, that wraps up proceedings here on the MCG. I said, um, what we will do now is uh, we'll, we'll start to head over to the, the Australian Sports Museum to actually officially launch the exhibition. Uh, so do please follow the directions. I don't know where it is. I haven't been here for a while. But um, follow the directions and, and we'll start uh, proceedings and formalities in the next 10 minutes. Thank you.